Welcome back guys. So Dr. Joe Brown. So I wanted to just cover once again anything in regards to the coronavirus and what's going around with viruses in general, especially this time of year. So everyone's going to the grocery store, finding empty shelves everywhere. They don't know what to buy. They can't buy anything because nothing's there. Everything's empty. We've all been there. Now, what I want you to do, look a little bit closer because there's things that are there that you may not be finding. So everyone's looking for things like the common household bleach. A lot of that stuff's gone, okay? But look for things like Windex. Windex is made up of almost 50% alcohol and 50% ammonia. So you can actually use this to clean your glass like most of us do, but you can also take this off, wash your hands with it, or clean down countertops with it. So if you can't find something like bleach, look a little closer, guys, okay? Let's go over here for a second. And we're talking about masks, okay? Home Depot, you usually find a cheap mask that looks something like this. Surgical masks that we use in the hospitals or clinics look something like this, okay? And I'm gonna go into this here in a little bit more, but probably in a different video. But any type of mask that you can cover your nose and your mouth with, you wanna make sure that you're keeping your eyes, but especially your nose and your mouth clear of any particles that could be floating in the air. If you've watched any of our last videos, we've covered some of this with the virus, how it can float up to 26, 27 feet in the air. Remember, we're just trying to block those water droplets that are floating, okay? Other things that you can look for. Now, this stuff is actually, for about two or three days, you couldn't find hydrogen peroxide, but hydrogen peroxide has been back on the shelf, sometimes in bigger, bigger containers, sometimes in the smaller containers, two or three ounces. This, you can gargle with, you can put on Q-tips, clean your ears, clean the inside of your nose with hydrogen peroxide. One of the safest things that you can use to sterilize the inside of your nose, the inside of your mouth, your hands, your countertops, and anything else. Just do not swallow this. You can gargle with it and actually cleans your teeth, whether you believe it or not. Uh, but you can gargle with this. It keeps germs out of your mouth and it also cleans the whole inside of your mucosa. Okay, Vinegar. Vinegar is something that the first couple days, it's kind of like the bleach. It's kind of like the peroxide. It went off the shelves. But vinegar, you can find a lot of stores. Stuff like regular supermarkets, 99 cent store, Walmarts, places like this. Let me leave this video with the last couple things here. If you can't find any of these things and you're walking through the stores. Now, I've heard the news where some of the people from the CDC is saying that let's save the masks for people that are nurses, doctors, physicians. Let's save them for these guys. Now, I'm a physician for almost 20 years, and I'm telling you that if you're gonna end up going to the grocery store and you can't stay home for the next couple of weeks, put on some kind of mask, and if you can't find a mask, something else that can cover the nose and mouth area. Because again, you're trying to block the droplets that are floating through the air. They're telling you to stay approximately six feet away from each other. Remember, if you're in the grocery store, use your cart as guidance. I like to stay, I like to say, try to stay at least two to three cart loads away from the next person. So if you have someone walking by you, walk six, seven, eight feet away in the other direction and try to remember, if you don't know what six feet is, try to keep that cart links distance at least two to three away from somebody else, okay? And let me just wrap this up with this. If you can't find a mask to cover your mouth or nose with, try to use something like a tie, a handkerchief, or preferably a silk handkerchief. And especially if you get this wet in water, it tends to block the droplets a lot better than a regular handkerchief or a tie would because usually these are made out of cotton if they're not made out of silk. So again, just wanted to cover some things. When you're going to the grocery stores, you're seeing empty shelves, remember, Think with the survival mind. What are the things that you should be looking for that the other people might not be looking for? Again, hope that helped. I'm Dr. Joe Brown. Remember, your health is in your hands.